Our top story tonight, Derek Chauvin sits in jail. The ex-Minneapolis cop found guilty on all three charges in the killing of George Floyd. He showed no reaction as the verdicts were read. The jury reaching the historic verdict in less than 11 hours after a gut-wrenching trial that lasted nearly three weeks. Chauvin faces up to 40 years in prison. He'll be sentenced in eight weeks. For activists fighting for racial justice, today's conviction marks a small victory in the battle for police reform. But the fight is far from over. CBS 13's Valina Jones is live at the Capitol with the struggles ahead for public trust. Valina? Well, while today's verdict was what some were hoping for, they say the push for change can't stop with one conviction of an officer. There's the audacity of hope. For some, like Sacramento NAACP President Betty Williams, a triple guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial signals the start of change. I think this is a huge step for criminal justice policies to move forward in every city in America. Since the death of George Floyd, California passed two bills, including banning officers from using the sleeper chokehold restraint and requiring the state's attorney general to investigate deadly police shootings. My hope that it will give fear to those other rogue police officers that continue to terrorize our community and kill them and hurt them, that they know the system has changed in the favor of the people. In Sacramento, the city recently hired an inspector general to investigate use of force cases and formed a community response team to address mental health calls instead of police. Racism continues to be the most persistent virus in our society, and we have a lot of work to overcome it. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg's strong words comes as he looks to adopt some resolutions brought by the police commission starting in May, including use of force standards and stronger vetting for officers. This is the beginning of the quest for justice, not the end. Not all are optimistic. Tanya Faison, founder of Sacramento's Black Lives Matter, noting more officer-involved shootings since George Floyd. It's still happening. It's happening aggressively. It's happening to our babies even. And so I, I'm not very optimistic when it comes to our system, but I do hope that it does indicate some type of change. Now on the federal level, the George Floyd Act that is currently in the hands of the Senate would ban chokeholds, no-knock warrants, and require both federal and local police officers to wear body cameras. Valina, thank you.